Look at, <laughs> look at the Ash River here. Oh, oh man, my this goodness. Is, uh, it's unbelievably acrid and <coughs> choking. What, what, what are we seeing here? This is an Ash River. This is the detritus from burning all this material, and this is what the kids get to play in. After a few minutes in the real recycling area, we were jumped. Several men struggled for our cameras. The mayor hadn't wanted us to see this place, and neither did the businessmen who were profiting from it. That was Scott Pelley reporting for 60 Minutes on the growing problem of electronic waste from back in 2008. Since then, the problem has only become larger. According to a new report, the world's e-waste, that is discarded smartphones, iPads and TVs, will probably grow by 33 percent to 72 million tons in just three years. That's enough to fill the Great Pyramid of Giza 11 times over. Joining us to talk e-waste and how to minimize it is CNET editor Dan Ackerman. Dan, good morning. Why has this become such a big problem? I think it's because we get so many more devices now. Everyone has multiple things, a phone, a tablet, a laptop, and we turn them over more quickly. You don't keep things for five or six years anymore. You may get a new phone almost every year. Where do the old ones go? Scott was obviously overseas in that report. Who's the biggest culprit? You know, a lot of it is industrial waste, but a lot of it is also consumers, especially here in the U.S. Uh, it's right after Christmas time. Everyone gets new stuff. What do you do with your old stuff? A lot of people just throw it right in the garbage. A lot of mercury, a lot of lead, especially in uh, old uh, monitors and screens and even in your phone. In 25 states, it's actually illegal to discard your used old electronics. Is that helping at all in this problem, do you know? And that list is growing. Uh, more states and more cities are adding to that. Uh, what you really have to do is find somewhere to recycle this stuff, and that's what these laws need to do is make it easy for people to take their stuff somewhere and, and put it uh, in, in a recycling area where it'll be deconstructed and the different, uh, like the mercury and the lead will be taken out. Um, and that's what, you know, in New York, we have in Union Square a couple of times a year, you can go drop stuff off, right. and that's a real benefit for people. I mean, there's some interesting solutions that are being proposed. I saw one that said we'd pay a little bit more when we get the phone, and then when we return it, we get money back. Is that the only way to get people to do this? You know, I saw that, and I almost think that's not even necessary because there are really so many places where you can recycle electronic stuff here in the U.S. You just need to do a little bit of research because it does differ by city, but a lot of uh, stores like Best Buy will take a lot of stuff back. The companies you buy stuff from, whether it's Dell or Apple, they'll actually take their own stuff back. They'll usually give you a free shipping label to ship it back. Mm -hmm. And I was even at Whole Foods, and they have a big bin for old cell phones you can drop in. Yeah, I mean, there, but things like televisions, I mean, and many computers, actually, it's, it's a little more complicated, isn't it? And they're big. You have to get them in a car or yep. drag them somewhere. I mean, I've dragged old printers and CRT monitors to, uh, you know, uh, uh, big collection stations in parks here in New York. Uh, so you have to give people a little bit of incentive by making it easy and kind of no questions asked to just drop off their old stuff. Especially on the heels of the holiday, you get a real sense, though. Everyone's always upgrading. So you're constantly getting new tech stuff. How can you individually minimize your e-waste? You know, you can find a place to drop it off, but here's, here's a big secret. You don't necessarily have to throw all your old stuff away. Uh, you can actually reuse or gift or donate or even resell a lot of stuff. Even cell phones that are, uh, you know, a couple of years old, there's still a market for those. You can go to Amazon or, or a place like Gazelle, and they'll actually give you a couple of bucks for, let's say, your old iPhone, and that's better than just throwing it uh, even in a recycling bin. With technology changing this fast, Dan, I expect this problem's only going to get worse, not better. Uh, you know, it is going to get worse. Uh, the one positive is that uh, going forward, people are manufacturing devices and products with less lead, less mercury, less dangerous materials. So that'll mitigate it somewhat. Uh, but the fact that we have things that are so disposable now, we turn them around so quickly, we get a new laptop every year, every two years, that's just going to add to the problem. Dan Ackerman, thank you so much. Thank you.